Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the breeds of horned domestic sheep we have here in the United States. You know, there's a there's a pretty big diversity because of all the breeding that's happened over the past truly 50 years, 60 years, since the 60s, or 60s, 70s, depending on how you ask, but I figured we'd go through some of them right here. Uh, the main ones are the Corskin, Black Wine, Painted Desert, Texas Doll, Strawberry, slash te Strawberry Doll, slash Texas Red, I call it the Texas Red, and Jacob slash Fourhorn. That's the same animal. Um, right here we have pictures of two excellent rams. This one here in the front, this brown one. His name is Mac. He recently was shot. He's the world record. Um, you can't see it, but on his left horn, he tipped off some. This photo doesn't show it, so that was knocked against him, but he easily got the record. And this one back here is 8-ball. He wasn't even close to the record. Because black wines are much farther ahead horn development wise than the Corskins are. Both this guy's longest horn is like 40, 50 inches, I think, is when they shot him, it's 50 inches. And uh, this guy's was apparently 50 inches as well. So if that's true, I don't know. I know they at least measured 49 and a half, both of them on their good sides. So that, that was pretty impressive. But that's the two Corskin and the black wine. Here we have the Texas doll right here on the left. This is. Um, Corona. This is a Justin Trimble Ram. On the right here, we have a Joni Puckett. Pictures of some painted deserts. As you, Texas dolls always white. Um, the painted deserts are painted. That's where it comes from. You can see all these different colors. All these classify as painted deserts. They just have to be multicolored to classify as the painted desert. Um, on the left here, we have a strawberry doll or Texas red, as I like to show them. You can see this reddish color. Uh, these horns, you can see this is a much tighter horn, up tight to the face. Uh, this is a pretty excellent ram. This is shot. This is shot on Cody Malone's place. Right here on this right side, we have a thing called the Texas Slam. Um, and these are the four breeds you have to shoot to qualify for it. The Texas doll on the top left, this is, an, this is one of the best Texas Slams I've ever seen. A Ram Slam, I forget what they call it, but... Um, Texas doll, excellent black one top right. You can see as white around his muscle, muzzle. Um, that's a an effect of aging. When they're one or two years old, most of the time they don't have it. But by the time they get to three, four, five, six, that white becomes more prominent over time, just like an old man. Uh, this bottom left is a Corsican. That's an excellent ram. And then the mouflon. It's right here on the bottom right. You can tell it's a mouflon based on this horn shape. That's a pretty normal mouflon horn shape most of the time they have one big curl instead of multiple curls like you can see on these others um these are the only four that go into the slam they don't they haven't added the pain in desert uh which they most likely won't just because the slam has been going on for so long you know a lot of hunters would have to come out but a lot of people add that one there's multiple slams uh but the main one which is this one doesn't include the painted desert or the texas red or the four horn. So, this is a four horn. This is Gimp. He is an excellent four horn. He's one of the best looking ones I've seen. Uh, from what I'm told, is he's nowhere close to the record because almost all the records uh, horns curl back. So it's like four horns that really curl. And when you get that curl, you get a lot of extra inches when you're measuring them. Uh, I have this note over here. The origin of the Texas doll. Uh, or Corsican sheep. Here you go. This is a, a description by the United Horn Sheep Association. They say, you know, there's some arguments over this. Um, they say all the breeds come from a collection of European, from a European mouflon, horned wool breeds, and uh, Barbados black belly, which are polled. Uh, Corskins are also called American black belly. Down here you can see they're separate, but most of the time these things go together. We know for sure. It was at the Wyo Ranch, I believe. They had merino wool, merino or rambouillet females out in their pasture. And the, and the ran manager or the owner let some uh, mouflon rams jump in. And they bred them. And that's how we got the Texas doll. If you remember the... That's how we got the Texas doll here on the left. That's their origin story. Based on the United Horn, Horn Sheep Association, whatever... They believe they all came from that, which is possible, um, especially with the black belly influence. But down here, you can see the different 
names they have from them. Painted Desert, Spotted Sheep, Texas Doll, All White. Desert Sand, that's also the, the Strawberry Doll. They also call them Cinnamon Dolls, Texas Reds. Most of the time, they the, whatever name they use is based on uh, how dark the coloring is. So if it's just a tad bit of red all the way through, they call it Cinnamon. Uh, if it's more reddish, they call it Strawberry. I call them Texas Red when they're really red. Desert Sand is almost never used, but, you know, it's an option. Black Hawaiian, out of all of these, the Black Hawaiian is by far the most developed. Why? We don't know. On horn growth, the record, there's been multiple, multiple uh, Black Hawaiians hit over 50 inches. Currently, the most, um, the ram with the most, it actually might be the biggest ram alive. I don't have a picture of him on here. He's 51 inches at three years old, which is hard to fathom. You know, that ram is head and shoulders above all the rest. Uh, the record was just taken. It was 56 inches. As far as I know, the next closest breed is was 53-inch Texas doll, and that was many, many years ago. Currently, the ones living, the biggest is like 50 inches long on its horns. So, in order, it goes... Black Hawaiian, Texas Doll, Corsican and Paint. I think I think Corsican, with that new record being shot, I think the Corsican takes it, then Paint, and then it would be the Desert Sand. Um, that would be the order of most developed on horn growth. And it's, you, it's strange because, it, like you can see here, it all seems to come from the same place, but uh, Mr. Jinksky, Rusty Jinksky, down in Fredericksburg, Texas, has been raising Corsican and Black Hawaiian and some Texas doll for a good long while, and almost all the records come out of his stock. And it seems like he all for some reason Black Hawaiian. He told me he kind of lucked into it, uh, into his original black ones, but they've they've developed the best. So that's kind of where people say they come from. Here's an example. Let's go back. The European Mouflon and horned wool breeds here's an example of some this is from Casey McGowan this picture on the left you can see that horn apparently he let a ram or not him uh, the wild ranch let a mouflon ram that looks like this jump into a, a group of females so they wouldn't have had horns but this is what the horned wool breed looks like the rambolet the merino whatever you want to call them they're all merino truly but this was the original cross that apparently made all the breeds now, this mouflon on the left is European mouflon. Armenian mouflons, their horns go behind their head. It makes like a halo on top of their head. Um, this is an exceptional example. This is a fantastic one. And then these, uh, these merino on the right, these are okay. These are typical and average, but they definitely get much bigger than this. And um, merino are much bigger bodied than the mouflon. So most of the time it's deceptive you, if you look at these two pictures you would see you look at these horns you go they're way bigger but truly on a measuring contest these guys have such bigger bodies that maybe some of these back here actually you know, out measure this mouflon on the on the left but yeah that's a quick rundown that's all the pictures i have um jacobs the origin of the jacobs it, it, it goes back even to the bible it talks about the spotted sheep that's why they call these the Jacob sheep, because in the story, it has Jacob in the story of the Bible. Um, my favorite by far is is the Reds. They're the least developed. Oh, also, I can go on a tangent about that. I believe, this is what I believe, this chart is probably wrong. Uh, based off this branch, I guess it's hard to tell. But I would I could see the painted desert, the Texas doll coming off of this branch mainly. And then so take off the the desert sand, the black Hawaiian, and the Corsican, and just have these two. The desert sand seems to be a fluke in the breeding of Texas doll. So a lot of times you'll see Texas doll breeders, if they have all white sheep and they have a go around. A fluke is the desert sand, and sometimes out of random, you'll just have a, a, a reddish-colored lamb. That seems to be a fluke out of those. Um, 
and you'll see sometimes in a black Hawaiian herd, you'll they'll breed, and it seems like Corsican is a fluke out of those. So I have no doubt, especially with uh, the Barbado black belly coming in, uh, that's the heavy development into the Corsican, why it has its color. But with all black Hawaiian herd, a lot of the times you can have a fluke Corsican, and with an all Texas doll herd, you can have a fluke desert sand or a red or strawberry doll, whatever you want to call it. And if you breed any of these together, if you breed the Corsican with the doll or the black Hawaiian with the doll, a lot of the times you'll get painted sheep. But painted sheep are the only ones to have a registry, so that makes them kind of unique. But, yeah, that's a recap. I hope this was informative to you. These are, I'll give a rundown on the owners. These are Dax Dietrich. You can find him on Facebook. Justin Trimble, Facebook. Uh, Johnny Puckett, I believe that's how you say it, Facebook. Cody Malone, he's mainly a hunter. He does race some black wines. Uh, Facebook, this was also a picture from him. Uh, Hunter Cox, Colorado. All the rest of the guys from Texas, he's from Colorado. Facebook, uh, United Cheap Horn Association. Casey McGown, Facebook. Uh, and these were just from an Oklahoma auction that I pulled a picture from. But there's the credit. I hope you all have a good day, and I hope you learned something. Adios.